Hey there, my name is Steven Feuerstein, Oracle Developer Advocate for PLSQL, and I have a question for you. Do you think you're smarter than the PLSQL compiler? Let's find out. So what I'm going to do is show you a piece of code, then you press the pause button, take a look at that code, see if there's anything about it you think could be changed to improve it, make it faster, make it more maintainable in some way, enhance the quality of that code, and then press the play button, and I'll apply the PLSQL compile time warning system to that code, and we'll see what the PLSQL compiler has to say and match it up against your analysis. Let's go. Here's some code, a function named what's wrong, and that's the question for you. Press the pause button and ask yourself, what's wrong with this code? What could be improved? Then press play when you're done with your analysis. Okay, you've pressed play. So you've decided that you know what's wrong with this code. Let's find out what the PLSQL compiler will tell us. Now, what I'm gonna do is enable warnings in my session. And this now will enable the compiler to not only tell me when there are compiled errors, but also to give me feedback on how I can improve my function. So I compile the function and I get some interesting feedback. PLW 5005, PLW means PLSQL warning, not PLS, which is PLSQL error. And it tells me subprogram what's wrong returns without value at line 21, line 21 being the last line of the function. So it's not actually telling me where in my function there's a gap in my logic, a branch of logic in which we, I will end up not executing a return statement. It's simply telling me that by the time I get here, there is a possibility that a return statement may not have been executed and then I will get a function returns without value error at runtime, which is a pretty embarrassing error. Now you probably were able to figure this out. Notice I've got a return here, a return here, a return here. <gasps> no return here. And that's what's being caught by the PLSQL compiler. And in simple little programs like this, it's not hard to find them by yourself, but oh boy, in real code with hundreds or thousands of lines, it can be very difficult to sort it out. So in this case, the PLSQL compile time warnings system tells me automatically if I have my warnings enabled. Did you sort it out? I hope you did. If not, or in any case, I encourage you, if you're using SQL Developer or any other tool, to automatically turn on warnings, which you can do inside the PLSQL compiler preferences of SQL Developer. And then every time you compile your code, you'll get feedback from the compiler letting you know how to make it better and better and better. Thanks for joining me and happy PL SQL coding.